This apparatus is known as the Technovate, and it's used for three experiments. Experiment number two, calibration of a Venturi meter. Experiment number three, calibration of an orifice. And experiment number seven, head loss in a circular pipe. This is experiment number two, calibration of Venturi, where you have flow that goes from a constant pipe diameter, suddenly contracted, and then has a gradual expansion. And from here, you measure the head loss difference between point one and point two. This is experiment number three, calibration of an orifice, where you have a very sudden contraction. And if we can rotate, you should be able to see the smaller circular diameter orifice where you have flow that moves from upstream to downstream. And because of this sudden contraction and flow, we'll see a drop in pressure as well that is measured. Last is experiment number seven, where we determine the head loss in the diameters of four pipes. The first is a one inch pipe which is seen here and you can see the one inch labeling. The second is a three quarter inch pipe. The third is a half inch pipe. And the smallest is a three eighth inch, three -eighth inch diameter pipe. Now backing up, we'll show you where the locations are where you measure the frictional loss. To measure the head loss in each pipe, we're going to have the tubing go from one end to the other, and that's a distance of five feet. So as you can see here, the tubing would start here, and we would measure what the head loss is over a five foot length of pipe to a point downstream. Experiment number seven is loss of a head in a circular pipe. And the purpose of this experiment is to determine the loss of head due to friction in the circular pipe. As we previously mentioned when we talked about the overall apparatus, this apparatus has four different pipe diameters, the one half inch, the one inch, the three quarter inch, and the three eighths. In order to determine the friction loss, we need to know two key pieces of information. First, what is the flow through the pipe? And two, what is the pressure drop between a point upstream of the pipe and downstream of the pipe? So for example, for the one inch pipe, this is our upstream location. If we move five feet, so our length of pipe is five feet, and our point two downstream is located here. In order to read the apparatus, we're going to do this for six flows for each of the four pipes. And for each flow, we're going to read the difference in the energy head elevation. So for the first, again, just to show you the pipes here, as we discussed before, there's a Venturi on this apparatus and we've already calibrated it. So we know that for pressure difference H, we can determine a calibrated Q. So if we follow the tubing, we can see that it's the first two elevations. So let me see if I can bring those towards you. Give me a second to find it. So the pressure distribution here is a negative two for H2 and a positive 12. So that would be a difference in H of 14 and a half inches. Now to determine the friction loss, I'm going to back up here for just a minute. Again, this is our location upstream. So if we take our tubing and follow it, as you can see, we're here. This is our tubing that we're considering. And then the opposite side, so downstream of the pipe would be this tubing here. So let's read those values. Here we have a pressure differential. Again, here's our first, our H2. H2 is approximately five and a half. Then we're stabilizing here at about 11. 
So we're looking at a pressure difference of five and a half inches. So from that, you'll be able to determine the coefficient.